Hey everyone, welcome back to Fast Breaks and Breakfast. Welcome back. I hope everyone's doing awesome. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a video, but we're so happy to be back. Yeah. So today we're going to be doing a video response to two awesome channels. Orlando from A Collector Stream and Sammy uh, from Sammy Thunder are both uh, celebrating 2,000 plus subs. And they're asking uh, the community to uh, let, uh, let them know, uh, you know, who are their YouTube friends? Who are YouTube yeah. buds? Well, we consider everyone that we interact with in this community our friends, uh, even though we don't, you know, we don't, uh, we've never met them in person or, you know, or anything like that. But uh, the, the, the truth is that it really has enhanced our collecting experience and has really influenced, uh, you know, uh, how we like to collect now and stuff. So yeah. what we, we thought we'd do uh, as a way of responding to the to uh, this uh, um, to this uh, request from uh, Orlando and uh, Sammy is to uh, show some recent pickups we uh, just got in the last month or two and how they have been influenced by this wonderful community that we're a part of, right? Yeah. So we're going to start off with uh, a pickup that we did um, probably like around a, three or four months ago. But this is um, uh, a, a pickup that came from... Uh, from a video that I saw of uh, John, uh, John Mangini, the Mangini collection. Mm -hmm. He showed these beautiful uh, discs, right? These are the 1950 All-Star pinups. So it's a set of 10 uh, pinups, right? Or uh, the, these discs that were yeah. in a book that you, you know, you uh, kids would buy the book and then just pull them out. And then you had little pin holes in there that you were supposed to pin them up to the wall or whatever. Uh, so, um, he showed this actual Jackie Robinson right here. And I was just like, oh my goodness, that is a beautiful <laughs> uh, image. And I was like, we need to have that in our collection, right? Yeah. So I, you know, I did a search and after a while, the actual, um, the whole set popped up uh, out of the book, right? So it was already, you know, uh, perforated out of the book. And, uh, you know, I just made an offer and got it at a really good price. But so not only did I get the Jackie Robinson, and so what I did is just, I just put them in these uh, these uh, frames that I, I picked up from Amazon. So here's the Jackie Robinson. But I was also able to pick up this beautiful Ted Williams as well, right? So so they're pretty much all Hall of Famers, all-time greats. And in the back of these actual desks, they kind of uh, explain how to play the position and stuff like that. So really cool stuff. Put that one down there. Do you want to grab those right there? All right. And then we have here Ralph Kiner. So I would I never even uh would have known that these uh these discs uh existed if it wasn't for John and his awesome channel and uh, all the, the the information he gives. So not only does he just show the card, but he gives us the background of the card and what you know uh the history that makes it so special, right? That makes you feel like wow man, we need to get that in our collection, right? And we're so just fortunate to be able to pick this up. Here's George Kell for the Tigers. Check this one out, a Stan Musial. This is 1950, so yeah, that's a pretty, you know, pretty uh, when he was in, um, still in his prime of his life here, of his uh, playing career, I should say. <laughs> here we have uh, Gil Hodges, right? Look at that one, that's a beauty. A recent uh, indu inductee to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Love it. Here we have Phil Rizzuto. The great Yankee, uh, what was his, what was his name? The sk Scooter? Skeeter? Something like that. <laughs> I forget. And finally, check it out. This is uh, uh, Joe DiMaggio. So this is like really the only Joe DiMaggio playing days because this is one of his last, uh, you know, playing days, uh, you know, I, I don't know, release. I don't know what you want to call it. It's uh, not a card, right? A photo. A photo, right? Because, yeah, he, 1950, he retired in, after the 51 season, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, right? Around the same time Mantle came in. So this is really cool. So we got the whole set. Thank you, John, for your awesome influ influence and friendship. So those are that's an example of some pickups and how these awesome uh, members of the community have uh, helped us to, uh, to enhance our ex uh, collecting experience. Collection. So here's another one that we uh, picked up uh, just recently within the last month or so. This is the... 1913 Fatima card of uh, the New York Nationals, which are the Giants, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I first uh, uh, saw this card actually in, um, or this, uh, I learned of this set from uh, 
from a, a, a video I saw of uh, Jesse from uh, Think, uh, uh, Think Blue 77. He showed uh, a Fatima card of the Brooklyn uh, Dodgers. And I was like, wow, that, that's amazing. So these cards came out over 120 years ago now. Uh -huh. No, 110. Uh, 110, okay. Well, it well it's, yeah, it's still, but that's a difference. That's, 120 and 110 is different. That's still, that's still. It's like 10 years, yeah. But still pretty old, right? That's still pretty old, though. <laughs> yeah, so this one, came, uh, you know, the, and these cards are really cool because they're, you know, they're definitely pre-war. I was never really interested that much in pre-war, you know, uh, until, you know, the last few years when we have been on, on YouTube. And this is just a, a beautiful uh, card. And what's so special about this and how it's connected to our collecting, because uh, I'm a big fan of Jim Thorpe, one of the greatest athletes, uh, Native Americans, uh, to ever play, uh, a, a, you know, any uh, sport, right? He was a track and field expert. He was, uh, he was, uh, also played football, of course, and, and baseball. Here he is pictured there. I don't know if you can see him there <laughs> in the corner right over there. Right there. And what's really cool about this card, you also have Rube Marquardt as a Hall of Famer. And then I know that Sammy would love this right here. I, uh, see Sammy show his, uh, beautiful Christy Mathewson. There's Christy Mathewson right, right there. there. Yeah, that's Christy Mathewson right there. That's for you, Sammy. Thank you, buddy, for all your wonderful uh, videos and uh, and showing those great cards that influence our collection. So these are really cool. The the Fatimas are we're now uh, trying to little by little chipping away at that set, right? So that's cool. So that's a uh, another uh, card that, that uh, has been influenced by this wonderful community and our friends here. So the next card uh, I'd like to show you here is going to be this uh, really cool 1934 to 36 Diamond Stars Ooh. card of Max Bishop. So I was uh, watching a video a while back ago of uh, of uh, White Sox fan collector Mitchell was showing the you know his collection of, of the Diamond Stars, and he showed you know a few cards and it's like wow those cards are cool. I just love the color in the background. It's like such a you know such a good illustration of of a card that's you know that's good you know almost coming up on a, on 100 years as well like 90 year old card or so and i was like man i, I gotta get me one of those so I, you know I, I just put a search in there and i was uh, watching a, a few of them on um on ebay and then all of a sudden um i was watching a a video from uh four collectors and uh, in one of the one of the videos, it was a live stream actually. Uh, Ray from Philly mentioned uh, the you know the the Lionel Carter collection. So Lionel Carter was an old collector who uh, started collecting in the uh, in the in the early thirties and um, had this pristine collection. And so the provenance of you know of his cards uh, that he eventually sold, uh, you know, are, are highly sought after and. And he, and he shared an actual video uh, the, uh, or a link to a video where, um, you know, it talks about, uh, you know, his, so he's being interviewed, Lionel Carter's being interviewed. So uh, we, I was able to, uh, to uh, pick up this card um, when I, I, and then I, and then I saw actually uh, the great uh, <laughs> Dan of Old Sarge uh, Collects uh, uh, showed uh, some of these uh, cards as well, the, the, the Diamond Stars and in there, he uh, also had a card from the Lionel Carter collection. So, um, so I went back on, on eBay and uh, and I looked through my my uh, Diamond Stars and uh, I saw that one of them was actually from the Lionel Carter collection. And uh, I put a bid on it, right? And I actually won it really cheap. But this, so you know, the Lionel Carter collection cards are generally going to be high grades because he kept such great you know care of them he put them in albums right from the the moment he pulled them from a pack and stuff so this one actually only graded two but I, what actually what caught my eye on this one and why it was on my on my my watch list even before i knew you know what the lionel carter collection was about right uh was the fact that it just looks so beautiful at, uh for a two right Look at uh, how sharp the corners are how nice there's no absolutely no creasing the uh the registration is incredible, uh, but I think the why I got it too is just has a little bit of paper loss in the back there. If you can see that with all that glare there, right? So, uh, so, but that's that. That's the kind of cards we like to collect, low grade, right? That that we can uh, that has good eye appeal. That you know that was a uh, relatively you know inexpensive. So that was really cool. So we picked that one up, thanks to uh, you guys out there, right? So. Uh, Mitchell out there, uh, White Sox fan collector Ray from Philly for letting us know about letting us know about the yeah. you know the Lionel Carter collection and uh, 
and of course for collectors for you know putting on these awesome live streams and and videos and stuff and of course dan all sarge collects right thank you so much for for you know sharing your uh, your uh, diamond star collection and your and your lionel carter collection as well because if that without that we wouldn't have known you know about these uh these would be awesome cards out there next we're going to show is this a uh, really beautiful 1953 bowman color of gil hodges so we just picked this up a little while ago i was doing a little uh a search on uh 1953 uh, bowman and this one popped up and i just like it's like uh, what a beautiful incredible image look at that beautiful image of gil hodges right really and just so stunning uh, in the back there, you see Schaefer beer and stuff. I wonder if that that beer, uh, brewery even exists anymore. So I don't even know where. They, I wonder if that's Ebbets Ebbets Field or that's somewhere out there in uh, in southern uh, Florida. Maybe uh, Hugo, you might uh, know about that. Uh, but anyway, it's I got this uh, in a three point five. And what is really cool about this one here is that uh, I had just you know watched uh, why I picked up uh, Gil Hodges because I, I was watching uh, Mookie Chilson do this incredible tribute to Gil Hodges and uh it was just like man I gotta get pick up some Gil Hodges cards and and I went out and picked this up and I, I'm really falling in love with this uh 53 Bowman set what an incredible set look at that beautiful card what do you think Leah I think it, it's really cool does I, that deserve a boom or what oh it's awesome <laughs> boom it deserves that's a boom. an awesome card thanks uh Mookie and everyone else out there that uh Helped us to pick up this card. And now let's um, show one here that I think uh, it's going to be pretty obvious who uh, influenced this, which friend influenced this pick up here. This is a 1930 Bagar. Which is uh, so small. Bagar chocolates. It's a, it's a Cuban issue uh, of Bill Terry, the great uh, New York Giant, uh, not only player, but manager as well. I think he, he's in the Hall of Fame, but mostly for his uh, manager, uh, managerial career, not so much for his playing, even though he was a pretty solid player, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, these uh, Cuban cards are, are you know, uh, are really special. Obviously, uh, being, um, I was born in Cuba, and, uh, and um, I, I love collecting the Cuban cards. Of course, Orlando. Uh, it showed us uh, is is such a great Cuban collector and uh, uh, shows these type of cards all the time and really helps us to to focus our our collection. So this is a a Bill Terry and a one right really cool. This this is very similar to like the another card that I have from a Cuban card from nineteen thirty as look well. At the card? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that this one is of Kid Chocolate. So it's this that the one is a bag about bag, bag, bagar uh, chocolate. This one is uh, caramel. Oh, uh, this one is uh, caramelo la estrella of Kid Chocolate, the great uh, boxer there. But they're both uh, from the same year and the same size, and the backs are very similar. Just the difference is the writing in the back is all green in one, and it's red in the other. Yeah, but uh, maybe, little... maybe someone would know if I'm. Mean, I'm sure they made. They're made in probably in the same factory or in the same printing uh, press. Anyway, cool. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Orlando, for that wonderful influence there. And then, uh, what else did we uh, want to show here? What we recently picked up. Oh, so a while back ago, I picked up also this beautiful uh, Ted Williams uh, uh, card autograph of uh, Bill uh, Billy Williams in the Ted Williams cards, right? And I. Uh, love these cards and uh, also of course Hugo from uh, Sign, uh, Sign of the Pastimes is also a great fan of these uh, Ted Williams cards so every time I uh, you know I see this card I, it reminds me of uh, Hugo out there doing his awesome uh, thing out there in uh, southern uh, Florida. Thank you Hugo for your awesome uh, influence and, uh, and your great videos so thank you my friend. And what else? Oh, last but not least, what I want to show here of recent pickups is that I picked up this. Um, so I've been uh, wanting a set of uh, these uh, Churchman cards. Are they so they're yeah, these are boxing cards. Uh, nineteen thirty eight Churchman cards, right? So I uh, I particularly wanted uh, this one right here, the the James Braddock, uh, which is uh, known as the Cinderella Man. <laughs> so he was a Cinderella Man, a great. Uh, 
Thank a you. great boxer, just a great story. If you've never seen the the movie or read, you know, read the book. Did uh, he lose his shoe or something? Uh, it's a. Uh, you never seen it? No. no well, we're gonna have to watch it. I have it here. Uh, I have it on DVD. Yeah. Oh, the wow. problem is we don't have a DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so James uh, Braddock, uh, but it's so it's a, a set of fifty uh, boxing cards, and I was able to actually pick up the whole set uh for like 80 bucks and uh so it came in this actual album here it says will cigarettes uh, picture card album which i think is uh related to churchman's uh cigarettes so there was a cigarette company but i think what they released wills released uh non-sports cards i think uh if if i can read that correctly it says uh household furnishings or something like that right so there were hot so they're it. household furnishing cards uh, but they but they they actually came in that booklet, so it's the complete set. So yeah, some of the highlights of the boxers that are in there are, are, are James Braddock. You got here uh, uh, Jack uh, Johnson. You got uh, Joe Lewis. You got uh, who's that? Jack Jack Dempsey, who which which I learned from uh, Hugo. I'm not. I'm sorry, not Hugo Orlando. That he's not the original Jack Dempsey. There was an actual lightweight champion before him. He showed this awesome. Uh, yeah, a turn of the century card <laughs> of uh of Jack of the original Jack Dempsey that uh is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't I didn't know that. So I, this is uh, actually the second Jack Dempsey, and he I think he was a heavyweight champ, right? And then you got Max Schmeling here, you got Max Bear, and you got uh Gene Tunney here. And these cards are all in pretty good condition. I think the, the Gene Tunney is the the one that's in the worst condition. But uh, some of these, I think I might actually even send into grading. And it actually came in the album. And the album has all the, the rest of the cards there as well. So including some like referees and executives in the back and stuff. So it's kind of yeah. cool in this little album. Anyway, I thought that was a cool pickup. Uh, and so last and but not least, what we want to do is also show some... Uh, recent submission of for SGC. Yay! So we sent out a, a submission, I think of a, what was it, eight cards. And once again, I bet you we'll be able to tie in uh, some great channels uh, to the cards that we reveal here in this submission. So this first card here is it's a, awesome, it's so easier. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. So this first card here is actually another card that we picked up for the Fatima set here. And this one is the actual uh, 1913 Fatima Cigarettes Philadelphia National. So this is the Phillies. Shout out to Michael. Shout out, shout out to uh, Ray from Philly. Look at this beautiful card. Now this one I got obviously raw, right? And I sent it in. It came back on authentic. Of course it came back on authentic because wow. look at the, the corner here. It's like, like it's been it's like burnt on. Yeah. Well, you know what I love about that? Just the fact that everything else looks pretty good, right? I mean, it's in pretty darn good condition. Other than the fact that, they, you know, there's obviously it's burned in the bottom right here. Uh, I can just imagine over a hundred years ago, somebody wanting to light up their cigarette and like, hey, can I get a light? And someone just lit the, the, the yeah. edge of the card here. and uh, But then put it out and then kept the darn card for over a hundred years, right? So, <laughs> so I think this is great. And this is, um, you know, pick this up for, you know, for pennies to the dollar, really, for what, you know, for what this this card is worth, you know what I mean, I, I think. And I just sent in a great grading and now it's in this beautiful case and now it can be displayed with our rest of our Fatima cards, right? So that's awesome. Cool. And let's see what else we got here. All right, so I, you know, I, I did once again the old, uh, uh, you know, try to, this is a blind reveal for us. I, we didn't know the grades, but I did, you know, try to guess the grades here. Some predictions. Some predictions. I, I, uh, so this first one here is uh, 1954 Dixie Lids Mini Minoso. Uh, great card. Um, I thought, well, it's missing the tab, right? But other than the missing tab, I thought it looked pretty like clean. Dixie, is Dixie like an ice cream brand? Yeah, it was a little, the Dixie cups. You remember the little Dixie cups? Oh, yeah, those are good. Yeah, when I was a kid in school, they would give us uh, that on Fridays as a treat. Lucky. Yeah, you guys don't get that anymore? No. Oh, yeah, well, you get enough ice cream at home. <laughs> so I, I, said, I thought it was going to be a two. Let's see what it came back as. Authentic. Okay, okay. authentic probably because it's mi missing the tab. But look at that beautiful. What's the tab like? The, the little tab is where you pull the the oh. lid off the ice the ice cream is cup. Is that yeah. an important part of it? Yeah, I mean, some people that well, it's you know, so it's missing the tab, so it's not complete, so it's missing a piece, so it's now authentic. Uh, so uh, that's cool though, but it looks great in the case, right? All right, 
Cool. And uh, next we have here a red back, 1951 red back of uh, Ed Snyder. Ed, also known as Duke Snyder, right? Yeah. And so this is our first 51 uh, red back. Uh, so it kind of uh, is going to be in the display, very similar to uh, to uh, Dylan of uh, uh, Dylan out there uh, in uh, in um, where is he in Hawaii, right? Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, he uh, he's been showing his uh, his complete set run from you know of all the tops all the way to you know modern day and stuff like that. And so I thought that we would do the same, right? Uh, and so here's uh, this uh, card. It does have a uh, I think a light, light crease in it, right? A light crease, yeah. And so I was predicting for this one a one or a one and a half. What did we get? Oh, we got a two. two. That's good. Okay, that's better. Yeah, it's good. I'm really has presents really nicely. It does have that crease I was looking at, so that's why uh, I thought it was. But uh, a two. That's that's good. That's strong. You, you, uh, you sounded sad at first. Like, oh, that's good. That's yeah. Good. No, I, that's that's better than I predicted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Now we got these uh, nineteen. Uh, what are these? Uh, nineteen seventy four. Uh, these are the the Laughlin uh, cards of this, and this one is of a Cuban player. Uh, Cristobal Torrente. Uh, so I predicted, I, I got, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of these. I think it was like around uh, uh, 12 of them or so. A, a while back ago, like around a year and a half ago or so. And then we just, I just thought like I might as well have a few of them graded. So I predicted this one will get a three because it has a bottom right corner that's fraying a little bit. So then see that right there? See that little fray fray? What, what's right there? Oh, like, like, like it's like, yeah, it's like, like yeah, separating. exactly. So I predicted, uh, what did I predict again? Uh, a three, a three, and what did it get? A, a two, two and a half. half. Okay. okay, that's fair. That's that's mid, like middle of three, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I don't. Now, now, this one here, the Jose Mendes, uh, uh which is another Cuban Hall of Famer, great, uh, great, um, played in the Negro Leagues and all the Latin Leagues and stuff. So this one was a little bit better condition, I think, because uh, I predicted uh, this one would get a three and a half or four. And once again, it just has a, a bit of a soft corners in the bottom, but, and it got a three. Okay. okay. All right. That's All right. fair. I'll take it. it it's a, a beautiful card, huh? On, the, on this corner, definitely. Yeah, it does. Can You can see it right there, huh? Yeah. And it's way off center, too. <laughs> it's a pretty off yeah. center. Oh, wow, that looks great in the, in the in these uh, cases, though, right? I like the different, like the type of like the style of the car. It is, and the black and brown go really nice together. Wow, or this like is going to display a, so beautifully. A tan and brown, like a pink. And the last three cards we're going to show here are from uh, a 1994 uh, Cuban League set that uh, was uh, with, that was uh, printed and um, distributed in Canada. Called the 1994 Cuban uh, uh, Select Series uh, cards, and supposedly they only printed out 5,000 boxes of these. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it uh, has some really cool cards in there, including some pre rookies of some uh, some uh, major leaguers, including first one here. No, not or well, not including uh, Omar Linares, who's considered one of the best uh, Cuban players ever. Um, they used to call him the kid, just like uh, Ken Griffey Jr. because he came up when he was really young, 17 years old or so. So I re literally pulled these out of the box, out of the packs. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to get pretty good uh, grades. So I was thinking this one, eight and a half or a nine because it looked pretty good to me. So let's see what it got. Uh, an eight. Okay. That's good. That's nice card. Good. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Once again. I love getting these cards graded because now they're going to display beautifully. Uh, yeah, and we don't have to worry about them getting damaged. Yeah, and then the next one here we have is El Duque, Orlando Hernandez. So this is considered a pre-rookie of his, I would imagine. 1994, once again, uh, pack pulled. I would say I said an 8 on this one. Let's see what I got. Ooh, I got a 9. nine oh, okay. that's interesting. I was thinking this one was going to grade higher. They, but, uh, uh, they look El pretty Duque. similar, to be honest. Yeah, they do. So uh, hey, I thought this one was a little bit more off center, but anyway, it got a nine. I'll take that. Okay. Nice. Hey, and the last one number. is Orlando's brother, um, Levon Hernandez, also a World Series champ and MVP. Uh, once again, I predicted eight and a half or nine on this guy. And what did I get? It got. Oh my God! It got a ten. A 10? Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I think that's the first that. time we've ever gotten a 10 right off. Well, that's pretty cool. That's a, oh, that's first a, time we've ever gotten a 
got in the tent right off the bat? Like no, what? like yeah, from I think we got one ten. The Scherzer that we sit in met his rookie because oh. it's gonna it upgraded in the new scale yeah, and the, the CSG. Kirsch, the yeah. Kirsh. yeah, yeah. And the Kirsch got a nine, but uh, but the the Scherzer got a nine and a half, and now. Oh. Up, but anyway, this is the first ten we got uh, from that uh, ten, right? Ten, like with the number <laughs> uh, ten. Yeah, with the number ten on there. Are, that's awesome. Cool. Well, oh. I hope you guys enjoyed our little video here. Thank you so much to uh, Orlando and Sammy for uh, for giving us the inspiration for this video. Congratulations once again on two thousand subs, guys. We really appreciate your everything you guys do for the um, for the community and your awesome and so inspiring uh, videos. So we hope to see you guys in our next one really soon. Until then, take care, everyone. Bye. Have a boomtastic holiday.